How's it going everybody? Um, I just wanted to make a quick video. I just recently had a client come in with a question that is a really common question I find really interesting um, and they're having some struggles in their career and wondering what what they need to change or what skill set maybe they need to work on and this is a really common thing especially with entrepreneurs and things like that and so when I when I talk to anybody and are looking for this kind of advice I often before I even look at a chart like to look at the person's hand and this you know Vedic palmistry is an ancient tradition as, as much as uh, Jyotish is and you can learn a lot just by looking at the hand there's some very simple things too that you can see um, just to get a general sense of um, the person's proclivities or, or challenges so um, one of the main things that I'll often look at first is going to be the relationship between Saturn and Mars and somebody's palm and just to start I'll show you where these are so um, I'm gonna use my left palm here um, you can use, there's, there's a lot of different debate which palms you need to look at. I often go with uh, the dominant side as being um, kind of the, the primary karmas of this lifetime. So it depends on who you talk to. But I'm going to show you my left palm. So um, in either case, uh, the middle finger here is going to represent Saturn. So this is the mound of Saturn and then this would be the Saturn finger. And then what they call the plane of Mars runs across the palm of the hand itself. So this would be the, the negative pole and this is the positive pole of, of Mars. So um, what we want to look at here is both the functions and the qualities of each of these grahas or planets and their relationship to each other in the, in the, in the palm. So, um, you know, Saturn represents karmic forces, essentially. I, I always call Saturn the, the, the karmic collector or, or the bill collector, so to speak, right? So um, any actions in this life or past lives that we've done or need to do, Saturn is going to play a pretty prominent role in and it represents uh, discipline. Um, it's it's this is the spine on the hand too. So Saturn also represents our inner integrity, our ability to stand up for ourselves or stand up for others, um, to stand up for righteousness, right? Um, so it has a lot to do with integrity, um, internal wisdom, and our ability to um, act objectively, free of maybe our, too many emotional pulls or physical pulls and things like that, right? So. Um, Saturn wants us to do what's right and we get into trouble if we're not doing what's right and then Saturn comes back to later to say well you didn't do what's right now it's time to pay that bill off right so Saturn has a very prominent role in, in, in Jyotish as well as um, palmistry so we'll look at Saturn first and Mars which runs across the palm of the hand represents physical energy so um, as well as mental energy too. Uh, but it has a lot to do with our drive or our push or our passion or our ability to complete projects. Um, Mars is sort of a warrior in this sense and it's kind of the frontline soldier trying to get things done. So we have both the forces of Saturn having uh, playing the part of being the kind of objective commander in charge and making sure things are logical and we're doing the right thing. And we have the power of Mars and the force of Mars uh, uh, pursuing these goals in, in a proper way. So this is, um, Mars is a lot more instinctual whereas Saturn is a lot more um, judgmental or, or kind of a bigger picture kind of view of things. So this is a really good combination to have um, working well and in, in order. So, so looking at the hand, um, the first thing we want to do is determine the length of the Saturn finger and you take that from this first curve of the, the first phalange um, to the tip of the finger. So you can get a ruler and do this if you want to be really precise. I often just use fingertips. Um, so I'll measure from there with my th uh, thumbnail to the top of the finger and you're going to take that measurement and put it on the cross section of your hand and see how close that matches up. So the Saturn finger could be longer. That's kind of a common thing. The Saturn finger could be a little bit shorter than the Mars line or they could be about equidistant. So this will give us a different information depending on what you get out of this. So first do that and see what the two measurements are. Um, if the Saturn finger tends to be a little bit longer than the Mars plane, uh, we're going to see somebody who might be a little bit too emotionally cold or distant. Um, it can cause you some isolation. Um, Saturn tends to take us away from things or take things away from us. So uh, if, if the Mars line is a little bit longer, we're going to have an excessive amount of energy and an excessive amount of drive, but it may not be directed so well. So this might be a little bit uh, maybe like pumping the gas and the brake at the same time, right? So there's not a regulated energy to doing this. Um, so that, that would be the case if the Mars line is longer. Um, so ag again, Saturn being a little bit longer, we're going to be incapable of tapping into 
um, our innate wisdom or our innate sense of justice or righteousness all the time. Doesn't mean always, of course, but um, that will be a, a maybe a tendency we tend towards. Um, and if the Mars line is a little bit longer, we're going to be less likely to act with discrimination or proper judgment in cases. We may just kind of, as a warrior who just is looking for the fight, good fight, we may charge forward without um, sort of making sure we have good orders that we're marching into. So um, that will be sort of the, the dynamic between these two fingers. So Mars needs the support and the foundation of Saturn. Saturn needs the drive and the passion of Mars to act properly, to complete projects. If you're going to start a business or any kind of major project, this is a really important thing. Um, if the lines are, are, are about equidistant or close enough, you're going to see a good balance in this. We're going to be able to complete our tasks, um, complete goals. We're going to be able to express ourselves and our work um, in, in a balanced manner and in a, in a manner that will help us to uh, get things done. So if one of these lines is a different length, don't fret, not the end of the world. Um, we all have our hand of cards we get dealt. So, um, But that will give you a little bit of insight into maybe which qualities you need to uh, work on or, or improve or, or maybe even tone back a little bit. So. Um, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, just please like and subscribe or share all the good stuff they tell you to do, right? And um, if you want to book a consultation, I, I do Jotish. We look at hands always too. Um, you can uh, reach me through my website or any of the social media platforms. Okay, thanks so much guys. Bye.